awaken once again with love. It is I, Freya. Do you remember my promise, sweet one? I task you with discovering true love in this village. Love is an incredible, fascinating thing. A constant flame that can both warm our hearts and burn us with searing pain if we are not careful. It is life's simplest, truest emotion, yet also its most difficult to understand. When you share true love with another soul, the entire world changes. Every sight and smell, every sound and sensation, everything you do and feel is first filtered through that love. It is an intense promise. By wedding Annabelle, you have proven to me that you understand this promise. That true love is something pure and worthy of your entire self. My magic and my gratitude are yours. When you stand on the eve of a new world's dawn and my sister Chloe resolves that your efforts have been enough, I shall stand beside you. <laughs> love true, Patch, until that dawn comes. Welcome back, guys, to another episode of World's Dawn. And uh, if you missed the last one, well, you probably didn't, because uh, it was the big uh, wedding day. Uh, we married Annabelle last episode, and uh, it turned out really awesome. So, uh, again, I just wanted to thank you guys for uh, your support throughout this series, um, and uh, for making it what it is. Uh, I had a lot of fun doing the last episode, and, uh, and uh, I think uh, we hit almost... Um, almost broke my view record with that video for my channel so that was pretty awesome and uh, now uh, we have the support um, of all but the last feral shade um, and so all we need to do is get Chloe's support and uh, we'll just do that by seeing out the winter uh, so <clears throat> we just have to uh, yeah, persevere to the end of winter and we'll get Chloe's support, and then we get to find out what happens when we've got the support of all five Feral Shades. So that's going to be pretty awesome, and I'm looking forward to that. Uh, so there's not a lot of chores to do um, during the winter. Uh, I still get to see to my animals, but uh, it's just wi uh, wheat um, that grows throughout the winter. So I've got um, both fields planted up with wheat. Um, so I'm using winter as a chance to go around and, uh, and talk to people. Um, and... Uh, uh, build up my relationships with uh, with the rest of the villagers um, so and that's about it so uh, I guess I'll come back to you guys when uh, when something interesting is happening alrighty so it is the 10th of winter and today is the first uh, winter market <laughs> the cold weather isn't going to stop us from holding our seasonal markets be sure to stop by all the stores patch I will I will want to check out all the good stuff <laughs> Um, I do enjoy seeing all these bright faces. There's a special sort of cheer to be shared on market days. I wish I would have known how many recipes Sparrow was going to bring today. I didn't save nearly enough for all of them. Careful, Patch. Logan helped me clear the plaza of ice, but there may still be a few slick spots here and there. I wonder why we never see Benjamin at these types of events. I know he likes to keep to himself, but you'd think he would make an appearance once in a while. I had a few pieces I was going to bring today, but I decided against selling them. I may want them on my own wall someday, yeah? I love listening to Mono Gossip, but I wonder what she says about me <laughs> to the other villagers. <laughs> I'm back again at market. I brought a bunch of tasty treats with me this time around. Good -o. I might have stayed in my warm home today, but for Bloom insisting we visit the market, of course. Uh, of course, now that we're here, I'm happy he convinced me to come. I want to get up and run around, but I think my bottom is frozen to the bench. <laughs> Just kidding, Patch. I'm actually sitting here to keep my mum company. You're a good boy. So many lovely folks moving about and sharing pleasant conversation. What else could this dear old lady want from life? Whenever this old sailor runs a market stall, there be complaints from other folks about the fishy smells. <laughs> Sess says the spirits of the harvest are to thank for the clear skies today. I guess I don't have a better theory. It's a splendid day for market, if a bit nippy. The quiet beauty of the winter season often takes my breath away. 
I already spent all my lockball winnings and need a few more coins. Would it be awkward to ask Carl for a loan? Do you think Hunter would lend me a few coins for the market? He beat me at lockball the other day and cleaned me out. Logan is convinced he needs to change his style, and now that he's mentioned it, I don't think I've ever seen him without that thick grey sweater. Anna's coat looks warm, but I'm not sure I could pull it off. Mauve isn't really my colour. I don't often watch the Home Shopping Channel, so I appreciate Alex bringing these items to market as well. Be sure to buy what you can today, Patch. These are goods you can usually only purchase through the Home Shopping Program. Really? So what have you got? Urban Sire Escape. Yeah, we skipped that one on purpose. Rubber Bowl. What do I want a rubber bowl for? I don't know. Modern Runner. Yeah, I'll buy that. We'll take it. What else have you got? Skip that. Skip that. That's all. That's all. I bought everything else already. Coming back to Sugar Blossom and being able to participate in markets like this one, it's better than any fairy tale I've read. What are you going to buy, Patch? Recipes or home goods? What a dilemma. Why not have both? Take a look, Patch. I have lots of prepared dishes for sale. Do you have recipes, though? Because that's what I'm here for. Wow, he has a lot of prepared dishes. He doesn't have recipes. Everyone's talking about recipes. But it looks like it's just prepared dishes. I really wanted, um, I really <laughs> wanted recipes. Who said something about recipes? <laughs> huh. I'm disappointed now. I don't, I don't want to buy prepared dishes. But I would definitely buy, um, the plain cake recipe if that was here. And pretty much every other recipe that I don't have yet. Uh, but yeah, I don't, I've got no interest in buying prepared dishes because um, they don't uh, they don't restore enough energy to really be worth uh, worth eating. Oh, so that is the winter markets. Um, we grabbed everything that we uh, we wanted to get from the home shopping program that we missed, uh, and I've got no interest in buying the prepared dishes. So that's gonna do it for our market day. It was a quick one today. Foul weather always reminds this old sea dog of an old legend. Have you ever heard tales of the banded amberjack? Legend has it a great shimmering fish lives in this part of the world. A rare beast, centuries old, said to bring a lifetime of fortune to those lucky sailors who catch a glimpse of her. On stormy days, whether thunder be rumbling or snow be swirling, she seeks calmer waters, the deep pools found in underground caverns and the like. Yet, this old sea dog has hunted fish for the fish to no avail. Unsure I be that she even exists after years of searching, until a storm like this falls upon us and I feel it in my gut. Sorry to ramble, lad. I suspect Fable might know the legends of you if you be keen on learning more of the banded amberjack. Today, I be content simply dreaming she's out there. All right, guys, so it looks like we've, uh, we've started um, a bit of a quest to catch a legendary fish, the banded amberjack. Uh, so I'm just going to shoot up to the hot springs and recover some energy because I spent the morning in the mines. Uh, and then we might go and see if we can track down Fable and see what she has to say. Hi Fable. The banded amberjack. Why does that sound so familiar? I must have a text on it. Give me a moment, Patch. Found it. Let's take a look. Fascinating. It seems no one's quite sure the capture of the creature even exists. Tales have been passed down over so many generations, it's nearly impossible to separate fact from fiction. Hmm. Does Wake truly believe the fish is out there somewhere? There certainly isn't much to go on. It suggests here the creature is attracted to sweet smells and shiny sights. Maybe some sort of heather or crocus? I suppose lavender might work as well. 
Regarding that shiny sights bit, a gemstone perhaps? You would know better than me what sort of sorts of gems are the most valuable. I would expect that even if you had something fragrant and something shiny, you would still need to be extremely lucky to have a chance of catching this thing. Not that I doubt you, Patch. I know just how much you can accomplish when you set your mind to something. Let me know if you'd like to go over this text again, and good luck to you. Okay. Um, so, we have an autumn crocus there, and some brush heather. Uh, we also have some frosted lavender. Um, as far as gems, I've got some of everything. Amber, sapphire, opal, and diamond. Um, now she said what was most valuable, so I'm guessing diamond is what we would have to use. So I guess we have to somehow make a lure. Um, I don't know if we have to go and see Wake to be able to do that. Possibly we do. So I'm going to shoot back up to Wake and hope we catch him before he closes. Uh, and see if he has anything to say about it. Alright Wake, do you have anything new to tell us? Orion came by the shop and couldn't tell one sort of bait from another. Good thing this old sea dog would be back in Sugar Blossom. So no. Okay, so I did a little bit of reading. It looks like just having the items in our inventory is enough to, um... Oh, hello, Sage Pop. Just having the items in our inventory is enough uh, to be able to... Which name is not in Prophecy Quest? I don't know. Yes. Um, just having the items in our inventory is enough to be able to catch the fish uh, down in the mines. And But we need sinker drops to be able to catch it. And believe it or not, Wake doesn't sell Seeker Drops. Uh, he just sells Juicy Bait, which is a bit silly because Juicy Bait's the easiest one to dig up. Uh, so it looks like I might have to spend quite some time uh, digging to try and get a bunch of Seeker Drops. A juicy Bait. Uh, try and get some Seeker Drops so that next time uh, there's a storm, we can head down. Unless I manage to get one now. Grubby stone. Sinker drops. I might... Okay. I'm going to run down in the mines right now. Um, and see if uh, we can... If we can't uh, catch this uh, legendary fish. Alrighty. Here's a new fishing spot. So this is where we have to fish in order to catch the uh, banded... Uh, what is it? Banded amberjack? Yes. I want to fish. And we're going to use sinker drops. And apparently we should recognize the banded amberjack when it comes past. Uh, and then we just have to uh, use all of our fishing skill to catch the thing. Uh, so I'm not sure how long it's going to take for him to appear. Um, but I might come back with you guys when it does. Okay, so I've been waiting a while here. And I haven't seen uh, any fish come past that I think might be the banded amberjack. Um, so I'm guessing maybe... Um, we need, uh, we haven't met some of the conditions or something, um, or maybe we're not, our luck isn't high enough right now or something, I'm not sure, um, but either way, uh, yeah, I've been sitting here for a long time and it hasn't come past, so I'm assuming that it's not going to, um, so I'm just going to catch my fish and we'll have to try again another day. That looks like a fancy glass, something like that would sure classy up the tavern. Go ahead and take it. So it looks like we found out who gets the fancy glass. So kind of you, Patch, I shall use it to serve only the highest quality spirits. I'll take a look around for some kind of payment as well. Awesome. So another step done in Noah's second-hand trading game. All right, guys. It is another blustery day. So another opportunity to catch the banded amberjack. I haven't, though. That seems like it might be a bug, because I haven't, uh, I haven't tossed a coin in already. Um, also, I was checking my, uh, achievements, and I, n I didn't get the one, uh, for marrying Annabelle. So, uh, yeah, I should have, um, I should have one extra mark, but I, n I never got the achievement for marrying Annabelle, which is odd. Um... But, we're going to run down to the bottom of the mines and see if we can make this work. Um, and uh, get the banded amberjack to appear. Oh, actually, we're going to go back out and dig first because I don't have any sinker drops. 
<laughs> Alrighty, so here's where we're at. I have been digging for most of the morning now, uh, or all of the morning, it's into the afternoon. I have spent most of my energy bar doing it, and I have not got a single sinker drops. I've got like uh, six or seven juicy baits, I think I've got three or four grubby stones and a whole bunch of coins, but I haven't seen a single sinker drops, and this is getting a little bit ridiculous. I'm about to run out of energy from digging. Digging's all I've done today. Another grubby stone. Another grubby stone. Gosh. And I just ran myself out of energy. I didn't even see that coming. I'm so used to Stardew Valley where it gives you a bit of a warning uh, before you're going to run out of energy. So yeah, that uh, there's, there's, <laughs> there goes my plans for today. Uh, we're not catching the band of damage act today. Looks like we've got a visit from Dimitri. Patch, I have some amazing news to share. Our tailor, friend, Trixie, and her niece, Ellie, have returned to Sugar Blossom. How exciting! <laughs> the two of them just arrived, and everyone's gathering at Primrose Plaza to welcome them back to town. Come on, let's go. Awesome. I think this is the last uh, people that we need to uh, get back. We are so pleased to welcome Bellatrix and young Ellie back to their old home here in Sugar Blossom Village. You both have grown so much since we last saw you. <laughs> it feels completely unreal to be back here uh, in the best way possible. What do you think, Elle? Happy to be home? It sure beats the big dumb city. Are we really going to stay here for good this time? <laughs> we definitely are. Look at all these beautiful faces that came to welcome us home. Why would we want to leave? What were you expecting, dear? Of course we would all want to see you again. Right away. Yes, yes, don't let us keep you from getting settled in, though. <clears throat> I'm sure you'll have all sorts of things to unpack. You know me, it'll probably take some time to get everything settled, but I'm excited to get right to it. Hey, stranger, hold up a minute. It's Patch, right? Some of the others were telling me about you. This may sound odd, but can I share a story? Ellie's parents, my sister and her husband, died in an accident when she was just a baby. Even though I was only a teenager, I took on the responsibility of caring for her. I was young and stupid, and the part of the bigger city where I lived was not the best place to raise a kid. Eventually, I decided it would be best to move somewhere smaller, safer. That's where Sugar Blossom comes in. My friend Paxel helped us move here, and open up a tailor shop in town. It was the perfect home to settle down and grow up in. But, well, it didn't last very long. I worked as hard as I could to keep the shop afloat, but I started running out of materials. The flax and cotton plants that were so plentiful when we first moved in started to fail. Without their fibers, I wasn't able to make clothes and we were forced to move back to the city. <laughs> Don't look so sad. There's more to the story or I wouldn't be here today. A few days ago, I had the craziest dream. Now, I don't usually take that sort of stuff very seriously, but this was different. This was a feral shade. Paxel told me all about them years ago, and something about their legend stuck with me all that time. I didn't doubt for a second that this spirit was honest and true. <laughs> she told me to move back to Sugar Blossom, that something magical was happening here. Something about that dream filled me with such happiness and hope, I couldn't help believing every word right away. There's a reason I'm telling you this, Patch. The Feral Shade spoke of somebody who had come to this village, somebody who was working to restore its life and spirit. As soon as I laid eyes on you, I knew it had to be who it had to be. Uh, just look at what you've accomplished here in such a short amount of time. I guess I'd just like to say thank you. Whatever magic you're working is over my head, but it's making a difference. To me and Ellie, it's made all the difference in the world. Make sure to come by the tailor shop over in West Village. It should take shouldn't take us too long to get things up and running again. Awesome. Now we can buy clothes, hopefully. Two more villagers return to Sugar Blossom. Got an achievement. Patchwork. Hey, that's me. <laughs> Alright, let's see if the tailor shop is open. Yes, it is. Awesome. Hi. Hi, everybody. 
My favourite story is a tale about a princess with an enchanted dress that changes colours. Maybe I could use the magic of Sugar Blossom to create a dress like that. Go for it. No one's going to stop you. If you have any questions about what we're selling in the tailor shop, just ask. I know Sugar Blossom hasn't had a tailor since we were last here. Welcome to Tailor Trixie's. How can I help you? What are you selling? Go ahead and take a look around if you're more interested in getting a haircut. Just sit down at one of the salon stations over there. Okay. Cloth sweatband. Bold bandana. Winter brim. Wrist tape. Black bangles. Shade slips. Hardy snow boots. Yes. Anything else? Nope. Didn't we already buy the black bangles? I thought we got them off the home shopping program. Let's get that. I'm just going to buy a whole bunch of stuff. All of the hats. Awesome. Alright, so we've got another stormy day today, and I'm going to go down and try my luck again with the uh, legendary fish. Get off. Okay, this, uh, yeah, this must be a bug. I'm not sure why, but every time I come to toss a coin in the fountain, it says I've already done it today. Um, so I'm not sure if I'm getting the luck bonus or not, um, but that might be making a difference as to why I can't... Uh, can't catch the fish when I go down there if um, if I'm not getting that luck bonus. I'm not sure. Uh, we'll go down anyway and have a look. All right, here we are. We're going to try this again. Yes, I want a fish. I got one sink of drops. It took me so long to dig it up too. Uh, I found out you can buy them from Paxel's uh, stand, but he didn't have any uh, this visit, so. Um, and he just left, so I might have to wait until next time and hope he brings back some then, uh, because digging them up is just ridiculous, but I've got a feeling it's not going to show again. Um, I've definitely got flowers in my inventory, I've got di I've got every type of di uh, gemstone in my inventory. Um, those are just the stone loaches, that's not, uh, that's not what we're after. Um, yeah, I've got a feeling it's not going to show again, um, and maybe our luck isn't high enough. I know that uh, one of the rewards the Ashen Fox gives is uh, an increased luck, but I think that's um, I think that's like uh, at 25 marks or possibly even 30 marks. I can't remember, um, and so we're a ways off getting that yet. Yeah, so no luck again, guys. Um, I'm not sure. We might have to wait. Um, see if I can work out. Uh, like, I'm not sure what this bug is that's not letting me fl uh, flip coins into the fountain. Um, but that might be affecting me if I can't raise my luck up, because apparently you do need to be quite lucky for it to appear. Um, or also, I might have to wait until um, I have enough marks with the Ashen Fox to get the, the luck bonus that he gives, I think. And looks like we've got a visit from Orion here. Good morning, Patch. I thought I would come by to repay you for the glass you gave me the other day. Once in a while, my wife's bird will molt and leave behind only one of these colourful feathers. It's really very pretty, isn't it? Got a rainbow feather. Hope you'll come by the Midnight Tavern soon. Good luck finding somebody to take that feather off your hands. Okay, next step in the quest chain. Who wants a feather? Oh, look at that! Patch and Annabelle. That's awesome. Well, looks like we've got a visit from Petal here. Oh. Good morning, dear. I'm stopping by with some exciting news for you. I would like you to play a part in the Solstice Theatre Festival tomorrow. Every winter we put on a show and cast folks from around the village to star in it. I'm telling everyone interested in participating to come to Primrose Plaza in the morning. I hope you'll join us, Patch. It's going to be a most lovely event. Awesome, so we get to uh, take part in the Solstice Theatre tomorrow. I'm going to run around and do my chores, and uh, 
I'll probably come back with you guys when uh, when we go to the theatre. Oh, how pretty. It must have been a truly magical bird that left that feather behind. Looks like I've tracked down who the rainbow feather goes to. Would you like it, Violet? <laughs> truly? Thank you, Patch. I really love the way it looks. As soon as I find a worthy gift, I'll pay you back. It took me a while to track that one down, because it, it really didn't give me any clues. Like with Orion, uh, with the crystal glass, I suspected that it might be um, Orion, or actually I thought Brynn at first. Um, but uh, the, yeah, then I went for Orion. Uh, but the feather really gave me no clues, so I was just running around trying to give it to everyone. And everyone was telling me they didn't want it. Uh, but we eventually found it. It's Violet. Alright, here we are at the Solstice Theatre Festival. Good to see you at yet another Sugar Blossom Festival patch. I sure hope you enjoy it. Enjoy it? I'm in it. I'm not here to participate. No, no, no. I'll leave that to you, young folks. I just wanted to be nearby in case Petal needs assistance. I was glad to see the sky clear up this morning so everyone could enjoy this festival. Would have been harder to fit that stage indoors. Amber did a lovely job painting that backdrop. I'm sure it took a lot of time and quite a bit of paint as well. I love seeing how actors interpret words on page into dynamic, real-life performances. There's a fascinating artistry to the process. I imagine the little kid version of Hunter had endless amounts of energy. Maybe his mother was just looking for an outlet for him. <laughs> My mother actually ran community plays when I was growing up. You might not know, know it looking at me, but I was a gifted child actor. This is called the Solstice Theatre Event, which means we're just about halfway into the winter season. I don't know of many plays other than the ones in Sugar Blossom Village puts on. Does that make me uncultured? Acting seems like one of those real easy jobs till you try to do it yourself. There's a reason big city actors get paid the coin they do. I'm so happy Silo is here to watch the big performance. Even as a child, she loved taking part in the Solstice Theatre. Although it's a bit cold today, being out here with friends and family is worth it, especially for such a lovely festival. Cole spent a lot of time at his piano over the last few days. I suppose practice is important, even for someone with all his natural talent. When I was much younger, I participated in a Solstice Theatre show, and completely froze up when I got on stage. It was embarrassing, even though everyone was kind about it. I'm not sure I would make it as a professional actor in the big city. I like being myself. I tried to take Ellie to a play once or twice in the big city, but she never enjoyed them as much as she always enjoyed this festival. Is that everyone? Well, it seems like hardly anyone's down here. Where is everybody? Come on. I suppose this is just the people who are participating, maybe? Let's, uh, let's talk over here. Ready to start rehearsing? Petal may need you your help before we launch right into it. Our star is here. Oh, good. I'm the star. Excellent. Thank you, for, uh, thank you kindly for agreeing to participate in this year's show. I am just now working with Cole to plan out the musical cues. Feel free to mingle a bit, but then I could very much use your help with preparations. I'm ready to help. Wonderful. Before we begin practicing for the big performance, we'll need to cast the other two roles in the story. Would you mind taking on that task, Patch? First, we'll need a young lady to play the villain of the tale, the evil sorceress. Why don't you ask around if anyone here is interested? I bet Bryn would play an evil sorceress. You're the casting director? Did you come talk to me for official business or just a chat? I need an evil sorceress. Should I be offended by that? Either way, I'd love to play the sorceress. Thanks, Patch. Alright, we've got a sorceress. You've found someone to play the sorceress? That's simply wonderful, dear. Next, we'll need a young man to play the cursed knight. Can I count on you to cast this role as well? Absolutely, a cursed knight. Um, um, who? Logan? <laughs> so, Petal put you in charge of finding the other actors. Good luck, Patch. Should we ask Logan? He's he's such a nice guy. I can't ask Logan to be the cursed knight. He already told me he doesn't like acting. He likes to be himself. Uh, so someone who likes maybe um 
I heard you're going to be helping pedal with the casting process. Big responsibility. Would you like to be our curse knight? Ah, oh. you know what? Are you looking for actors to take the stage? I don't have much experience myself. You look kind of like you've got the whole the whole dark demeanor going though, like your black hair and your dark eyes, like a uh, bit of a cursed night, maybe. I'll give it my best effort. Maybe I'll discover a new talent up there. <laughs> this is going to be terrible, isn't it? Oh. It seems all the roles have been cast. Lovely, just lovely. We only have a few short hours before the rest of the village arrives, so we must begin rehearsing right away. Don't be nervous now, let's begin. Oh, I, I hope this isn't one of those uh, where we have to do the arrows, because I failed miserably last time. Kind folks of Sugar Blossom Village, one and all, I would like to welcome you to a special performance, this year's Solstice Theatre. Once upon a time, in a faraway kingdom, there lived a simple gardener. This gardener had a special talent for growing the sweetest and most fragrant flowers in the entire kingdom. He spent all day out in the fields with his trusty watering can. <laughs> That's awesome. And everywhere he watered, beautiful flowers would spring up, filling the air with the most lovely scent you can imagine. One such day, he was set upon by a most peculiar visitor. A small fairy floated into his garden, a delightful winged creature said to possess the magic of foresight. Thank you to Cole and all of our amazing actors. You did such a lovely job. Oh, do we not get to see the whole thing? I was just, I was, I was just getting hooked. I was just getting hooked, pedal. Oh, you did such a lovely job. And Cole and all our other actors as well. I'm so happy the Solstice Theatre went off without a hitch. You did so well, Patch. You hit all the right musical cues and everything, yeah? I helped Pedal design the costumes. What did you think of them, Patch? I'm always impressed by Cole, no matter how many times I hear him play. He didn't miss a note in that whole performance. It was fun to practice my evil glare. I got it down pretty good, don't you think, Patch? Look at you, dear. Next thing I know, you'll be shipping off to the big city with some fancy acting gig ahead. I'm glad the show had a happy ending. I was rooting for you the whole time, Patch. You sure did a better job than I would have done on that stage. I've birthed a newborn calf with my own bare hands, but memorizing all them lines is beyond me. Well done up there, Patch. I fully bought into your performance as a gardener. Well, I kind of am. I would have thrown a few more jokes in there personally, but that's just me. You know, lighten the mood a little. <laughs> I don't think I could have played the sorceress. I'm probably the least intimidating girl you'll ever meet. The more I see you at these festivals, the more skills you seem to pull out of nowhere. Just naturally talented, I suppose. When I was much younger, I participated in... Yeah, you told me that before. Sorry to cut you off, but yes. The big star himself. Come to mingle with us common folk. Congratulations, Patch. That was quite a performance. Good show, Patch. I really believed you were the gardener from the story. Thank you kindly for helping my wife with this festival. Ahem. <clears throat> she does enjoy organising this sort of shindig. <laughs> Barley used the word shindig. But can't do it all on her own. I almost shed a tear when you kept watering your garden over and over, no matter how many times it was stomped back down. Petal actually chose that story out of one of my fairy tale books. It's a really beautiful tale with an inspirational lesson. You were terrific up there. Most of the other villagers I've talked to seem to have enjoyed the show too. Bloom isn't as good of an actor as you are. I guess it's nice that he's still trying anyway. That was some show, Patch. For a bit in the middle there, I didn't know if you were going to make it. You did well, kid. Uh, you did well, but WizKid stole the show for me. That was an unexpected treat. You, do you act because you don't like your own personality, Patch? Or because you enjoy looking silly on a stage? <laughs> what an odd little girl you are. Where's our, um, here? 
That was so much fun. I'm not sure I'm cut out for an acting career. I had butterflies in my stomach the entire time. If you were nervous, it didn't come through at all in your performance. You looked like a natural up on stage, Patch. Where did the evil sorceress come from in the first place? Who's to say she won't just go off and bully a different gardener? Cool. So that is the solstice event. Solstice theatre event. Uh, that's pretty awesome. Uh, uh, to be honest, I'm a little bit disappointed we didn't get to see the rest of the play. <laughs> I was getting hooked there. I was settling right in for a good story. Uh, but that's cool. Uh, leave it to your imagination. Uh, but uh, I think that's going to about do it for our episode today, guys. So I just wanted to say a big thank you uh, to all you guys for checking out this episode. And uh, if you did enjoy it, please go ahead and leave, a, leave me a like. And I hope to see you guys in the next episode.